have a nice time to all today we will deal with a new algebraic structure called rings suppose we have to solve the equation 2x plus 1 equal to 5 in the set of all rational numbers with addition so we are considering this equation having coefficients in q and we are considering q as a group having the operation addition and suppose there is no other operation as defined in q okay so here when we solve this equation we may add negative 1 to both sides of this equation so we will get 2x plus 1 plus minus 1 equal to 5 plus minus 1 then the equation becomes 2x equal to 4 since we are considering q with addition only we cannot use multiplication we may not consider this equation as 2 into x but it is actually x plus x so we get x plus x equal to 4 and we may see that x equal to 2 here and suppose we know the operation multiplication in Q also. Then from here itself we can conclude that x equal to 2. Why? We may multiply both sides of the equation by the inverse, multiplicative inverse of 2. And we have 1 by 2 into 2x equal to 1 by 2 into 4. That is x equal to 2. So if we conclude that it will be beneficial if we study about a structure which consists of a set and two operations. Today we are going to discuss such a structure which is called rings. First of all let us define rings. A ring R plus dot is a set R together with two binary operations plus and dot which we call addition and multiplication defined on R such that the following axioms are satisfied. First axiom is R with addition is an abelian group. Second one multiplication is associative and the third axiom for all a b c belong to r the left distributive law a into b plus c equal to a into b plus a into c and the right distributive law a plus b into c equal to a into c plus b into c hold here please don't confuse with the notation of r with a set of all real numbers r here r represents only a set and addition is not actually the addition we usually deal with here plus is only a notation also dot is only a notation and these operations are named as addition and multiplication so here, here we can define the operations addition and multiplication when we deal with various sets r so let us see some examples first example is set of all integers together with the addition of integers and multiplication of integers here addition and multiplication are usual addition and multiplication defined in set of all integers we know that set with addition is an abelian group also we know that multiplication is associative in set that is if a b c are integers a into b c will be equal to a b into c and since a b c are integers we know that multiplication is distributive over addition in set that is a into b plus b will be equal to a into b plus a into c so to check that whether a structure is a ring, we have to check these three properties. Therefore here set with addition and multiplication which are usual addition and multiplication defined on the set of all integers is a ring. Similarly we can say that set of all rational numbers with addition and multiplication and also set of all real numbers are with the usual addition and multiplication of real numbers are all examples of rings. What about set plus with usual addition and multiplication of integers? Here first of all we have to check whether set of all positive integers together with addition is an abelian group. And we see that one belong to set plus but the additive inverse of one is minus one it doesn't belongs to set plus. Here set plus with usual addition is not a group. Therefore this structure violates the first axiom of the ring. Therefore this is not a ring. So let us go through some other examples of rings. Now let us go through some more examples. Consider M n of R. That is the set consisting of all n by n matrices with real entries. That is all the entries in the matrices are real numbers. And we have to define two operations to make it as a ring. So one operation is addition which is usual matrix addition. And the next one multiplication is usual matrix multiplication. So to check whether this structure mn of r together with this addition and multiplication is a ring, we have to check three properties. First of one is 
A menopause together with addition is an abelian group. Here all the entries in the matrices are real numbers. We know that and when we add two n by n matrices of this kind, again we will get another n by n matrix with the real entries. So the operation is closed and here the additive identity is the zero matrix and clearly every matrix has its inverse which belongs to MNR itself. Also, we know that if we take any two n by n matrices A and B with real entries, A plus B equal to B plus E. That is, matrix addition is commutative also. Therefore, we can conclude that set for n by n matrices with real entries, that is M n of R, together with the operation matrix addition is an abelian group. Our next property is multiplication is associative. We know that matrix multiplication is associative. And also, Matrix multiplication is distributive over addition. That is, if we take three matrices, A into B plus C will be equal to A into B plus A into C. Therefore, Mn of R together with matrix addition and matrix multiplication is a ring. Similarly, we can conclude that Mn of set, that is, the set of all n by n matrices with entries as integers and also Mn of Q with matrix entries as rational numbers and also Mn of C, which is the set of n by n matrices with complex number entries. These are all rings together with matrix addition and matrix multiplication. So, these are some examples of rings. Another example is f equal to set of all functions small a from R to R, that is set of all real valued functions. So, we have to define the operations addition and multiplication here. So, we will take two elements f and g belongs to the collection and f plus g is again a function from r to r which is defined as f plus g of x is equal to f of x plus g of x and also f into g is also a function from r to r which is defined as f g of x is equal to f of x into g of x. So, we may so, we can verify that z of all functions from R to R script F together with the addition and multiplication of functions as defined here becomes a ring. Here we see that z of all real valued functions together with the operation addition is an abelian group that we have proved earlier. And the next property we have to check is multiplication is associative on F. That is if we take three functions f g and h in script f we have to show that f g into h equal to f into g h so here f g into h of x equal to f g of x into h of x that's equal to f of x into g of x into h of x again f into g h of x equal to f of x into g h of x that's equal to f of x into g of x into h of x so clearly fg into x equal to f into gx. Therefore, multiplication is associative here. In the similar way, we can show that the multiplication is distributive over addition. That is, f into g plus h equal to f into g plus f into h. So, since this structure, f together with addition and multiplication as defined here, satisfies all the properties of the ring, this structure becomes a ring. Another example is n set together with usual addition and multiplication of integers and also next one zn together with operation addition modulo n and multiplication modulo n. We can easily check the ring axioms here also. Now we will go to some properties of rings. Here we have to prove that if R is a ring with additive identity 0 then for any a b belongs to R we have 0 into a equal to a into 0 equal to 0, a into minus b equal to minus a into b equal to minus of a b, then minus a into minus b equal to a b. Here, given that r plus dot is a ring. So, we have to prove these three results using only the axioms of a ring. And which are the axioms of the ring? r plus is an abelian group, then multiplication is associative, also multiplication is distributive over addition. That is x into y plus z equal to xy plus xz and x plus y into z equal to xz plus yz. Here using these, so using these axioms we have to prove these three results. 
So we first we result is we have to show that 0 into a equal to a into 0 equal to 0. So we will show that 0 into a equal to 0 first. Likewise you can see that a into 0 also equal to 0. So to show that 0 into a equal to 0 we will consider 0 a plus 0 into a. So this can be written as 0 plus 0 into a using the property that multiplication is distributive over addition. So we have 0 into a plus 0 into a is equal to 0 plus 0 is again 0. So we have 0 into a. And this can be written as 0 plus 0 into a. Since 0 into a is an element of R and 0 is the additive identity, again we will get 0 into a as the answer. So now we can use the right cancellation loop. Since R plus is an abelian group, we can cancel this 0 into a from the right side and we can conclude that 0 into a equal to 0. So in the similar way, we can show that a into 0 also equal to 0. For that, we will consider a into 0 plus a into 0 and we will proceed in the similar way. Now let us prove the second result which says, which says that a into minus b equal to minus of ab and minus a into b also equal to minus of ab. First we will prove this result a into minus b equal to minus of ab. What is this meaning? Minus of ab represents the inverse of the element ab. So actually we have to show that inverse of the element AB is A into minus B. In other words, when we add A into minus B with AB, we have to get the identity element, zero. So we will consider A into minus B plus AB. So this is equal to using the property that multiplication is distributive over addition. This can be written as A into minus B plus B. And this is equal to A into 0 since minus b is the inverse of b with respect to addition and a into 0 equal to 0 according to the first result. So we showed that when we add a into minus b with ab we will get the additive identity. In other words a into minus b is the inverse of ab with respect to addition that is represented by minus of ab. So we proved that a into minus b equal to minus of ab. In a similar way we can show that the inverse of AB is also minus A into B. That is we have to consider minus A into B plus AB. And this is again equal to minus A plus A into B. Then we will get 0 into B which is equal to 0 by the first result. So we can say that minus A into B is the additive inverse of AB. So that is minus A into B equal to minus of AB. So using only the axioms of the ring, we showed that a into minus b and minus a into b are actually the inverse of ab. And using the second result, we can easily prove the third result which says that minus a into minus b equal to ab. Here please don't confuse with the notation. Minus a is not equal to minus 1 into a actually. It is only notation for the inverse of the element a. It is denoted by minus a. So here we had to show that when we multiply the inverse of A, additive inverse of A together with the additive inverse of B, the answer will be equal to A into B. So in the second result, we prove that minus A into B equal to minus of AB. So using the second result, we may write minus A into minus B equal to minus of A into minus B. So again using the second rule, we may write minus of a into minus b is minus of a b. So this is minus of a b. Minus of minus of a b means that the inverse of inverse of the element a b. That is the answer should be that element such that when we add minus of a b with that element, result should be 0. That is actually the additive inverse of the element minus of a b. So what is the element here? You know that it is a into b. So here we have inverse of inverse of the element AB is actually A into B. So we show that minus A into minus B equal to A into B. So when we studied about the group structure, we had discussed about the homomorphisms of two groups and also the isomorphism between two groups. Likewise, can we define homomorphism between two rings and also isomorphism between two rings? We will discuss that topic in the next class. Now let's stop here.